Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today I'm going to be taking this cool little rock crawler Land Rover 112 scale truck out for its test drive. This is the MN99S, and this thing is dirt cheap. With a coupon, it's like 55 bucks, and it's really, really cool. I've been driving around the house a lot, and it's just, I, it's awesome. It has fully proportional steering here, so it's not one you have to adjust. You know, it's not bam bam steering. It's got just spring shocks, you know, the friction ones, but it's really pretty well built. Now, when you get it, there's really nothing with this, so you don't, there's nothing much to do a table review about. There is a charger, I didn't bring it with me. It's a USB charger that plugs into the 2S lithium ion battery here. They don't have a capacity on this, but it's probably gonna be in that 12 to 1500 milliamp. That's what all these size packs usually are. That's what my guess is. Um, as you can see, it's got white LEDs here and these headlights will actually turn on too when you give it throttle. And you've got rear ones here, then these turn signals will work as you turn. Hopefully that'll show up in the driver view. It's really cool. You do have to do a little bit of assembly. You have to put on the mirrors and some of these parts you have to snap on. And there's a little sheet they give you with this that shows you where to put some of the little pieces to this little truck. And here is the controller. It's just a pistol grip controller. And there's your steering trim right here. So you need, if you need to, to uh, adjust the steering. So let's, we'll take it out now and we'll drive it around here because as you can see, it's November the 12th and we already have snow on the ground. And I'm 48 and I've only seen snow in November a few times. And this is back to back years with mid-November snow. So last year was like seven inches. This is like an inch but it'd be perfect for this thing. I wasn't planning on doing my review of this here because I do so many in my house, it gets boring, but this will be perfect for driving this thing in the snow. So let me go ahead here and get the, uh, the hood snapped down here. It's a little hard at times to get it snapped down. That way the battery won't, can't come out. Let's take it around, let's drive it and see how it does. I want you guys to see that turn, the turn signals on this thing. And this throttle is also proportional, though usually I'm going full speed. It is kind of quick, quicker than I thought. And like I said, the steering is also proportional on this guy, which is a huge plus at this price point. So I'm gonna set it down here. Let's go ahead and take it out now for a test drive. Nice. It's doing pretty good. It is a little bit top heavy. Oh, it's bogging down. Let's see if we can back it up. There we go. You can roll this truck a little bit, and that's just because of that top, you know, it's a little top heavy. I imagine a real Land Rover is gonna be a bit like that too. It's got pretty good power though. I'm gonna adjust the steering trim a little bit. This is fun. I, my daughter, my three-year-old daughter just loves it. I mean, it's just, it's all she wants to do, so adjust that steering trim a little more it's really pulling oh it's bogging down but we can back it up it was a fairly wet snow but it got down in the teens last night so only the current temperature is uh um, 26 degrees <laughs> it's still still pulling on me I'm trying to get it trimmed up Oh, it's going to bog down again. Just a little bit too much to come back up here and make it up through the snow. And the guard is sort of kind of thick. Oh, stuck again. I didn't get a chance to mow one last time. And now we got the snow. So let's take it out here and see. Should be able to go just find a flat surface like this. That's cool. Oh, it's getting bogged down. Looks like we may have get stuck. Let's see if we can make it out. I, like I was saying, some of this is because the grass is sort of tall. So it's got to go through that grass. Oh, there we go. It made it out. And then the snow pushing through the snow, which is, you know, it's, it's not the driest snow, but it's become a lot more powdery. Than it was yesterday so it does get a bit bogged down that looks cool 
see if we got stuck again. Not having too many problems there though. Usually I hit it in reverse and I can get right out. This is just a perfect amount of snow for a little truck like this. I don't know how well the, the, the front headlights and stuff are showing up for you guys. But there they are right there coming on. Let's see if I can try to show you guys the turn signal. I'll just lift it up and show you because it's going to be too dark to do that. See it on the ground. But here is, let's see my steering you can see a little bit out of whack. So let's see if we can adjust the steering trim first. Get it straightened up there, okay. And here's the turn signal. There's the left. And there's a right. Let's see. I think it did it on the back. Let's see. Let's try it here. There's our left and there's our right turn signals. Really neat. Really cool. For the price, you cannot beat this. I mean, my goodness, a, a 10 year old, 12 year old would just go nuts over this thing. And you're not going to break the bank. So the steering trim does, I've noticed, it get, gets knocked out of position pretty easy, which is not uncommon on these cheaper servos. But hey, at least it's proportional. You can see a turn signal there, maybe. I was having to adjust the... Let's see if we can adjust this steering a little bit more. Usually I can get it trimmed up and it does a nice straight line, but you can knock it out of whack a little bit. It has that spare tire in the back, which you actually... is just one of the ones... You know, you could put it on the actual truck. So if you would somehow lose a wheel, a tire I should say, if you lost a tire and you are somehow damaged it, you could definitely use the spare. Um. Oh, let's back it up. They do come off kind of easy to tires. My daughter has a pretty easy time pulling them off, but they pop right back on so easily that's not really a big deal. I've never run this dead yet. I've charged it back up several times, so I had a full battery. Um, so I don't know how long it'll run. I, I bet just casual driving. This snow is probably going to run this down a little sooner. Whoa, we rolled it. That's where it's a little bit top heavy. I don't see why you couldn't get a half an hour out of this. I'm sure there's an advertised run time on Banggood, but those advertised run times and flight times on drones are almost always exaggerated. Are not. Are, Sometimes, you know, they're accurate. It's just a little brushed motor. I don't know what size brushed motor's in there, but it's a small one. The charge time on that, you know, it, the charger does have a green light in there. It flashes and it will go solid when it's done, which is nice. Um, with it being probably, I'm, again, I'm guessing on the capacity because it doesn't say it. It's the first time I had a a battery it didn't actually say its capacity on it. Um, you know, you're looking at several hours. I mean, it could be as low as 800, but it looks a little bit too big. I'm thinking it's 12 to 1500 uh, lithium ion, which is a good battery. You want to see lithium ion or lipos in these. So much better than a nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydride battery. It uses just one of those two pin. I didn't show you the connector. It doesn't use a standard connector per se. A lot of these do use those, but I wish it did use a more traditional, you know, a Dean's plug. Obviously, you don't need a Dean's plug. Or even a red JST would let me charge it much faster on a hobby grade charger. Oh, let's see if we make it up the hill. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Oh! It's going. Oh, oh. Let's give it another run. Ah. I thought we might make it. One inch of snow like this is pretty much perfect for this truck. Any more, it's going to be too thick. This is cool. Of course, you have no problem coming downhill. Just have to keep from rolling it. See if we can make it up here. Ugh. Oh, bogged down. Thankfully, we have no trouble backing it up. Ugh. I was hoping maybe I could use my existing tracks and footstep areas to get a little better 
Oh, it's squashed down and make it up. Oh, almost. Oh, it's trying. That's some of the hardest part, to, the steepest part of my backyard here. Here's some geese flying overhead. I, I've seen a lot of geese. I think they're they are flying south. They're like, what the heck is this? It's November. We shouldn't have to fly south from the, this Arctic air. Whoa, it rolled over. Again, it does roll over a little bit easier than you like, but again, that's partially due to this design. So it's not a big deal. And you always want to check it from time to time to see, to make sure that the wheels haven't come, oh, excuse me, I always want to say wheels. The tires don't come off of the wheels. It's a bad habit of wanting to call it tires, wheels. So yeah, for 55 to $60, depending on, you know, coupons and such, I, I mean, I just did nothing to complain about for this. You, it looks so real. Proportional steering, a good battery, good power. I mean, it's pretty crazy. Really, really impressed with this little truck. If you were to go to Walmart and spend 50 to $60, it'd be an absolute piece of garbage compared to this. Those trucks almost always don't even have, they probably wouldn't even have a proportional steering. Probably use a nickel cadmium battery pack. Wouldn't look nearly as, it might look cool. The truck, their cars and trucks do look cool. But it probably, you know, it might have headlights, but it's not going to be like this. Ugh. Cool. All right, guys, my hands are freezing, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up now. I think you guys have seen enough of what this truck can do. This is really sweet. Again, I'll include a purchase link to this because I really do highly recommend this. I'll include a coupon code to this because... The 10% off affiliate, uh, they call it an affiliate coupon code that so many people, it's not, it's not a special code. I think it gives you 10% off site-wide on anything that's not on, already on sale. So it was dropping this to around $55. I'll include a purchase link to this along with that code if you are interested in checking this little truck out. If you order it now, you should get it by Christmas. Mine did take a while to get and, uh, you know, but uh, you know, six, what have we got, five weeks or so? If you get on it and order it now, you should get it in time. It just came with a by a slower shipping method. So I think it'd be pretty safe to get it by now if you order it right now. All right, guys, that wraps up the review of the MN99S Land Rover a Rock Crawler truck. Hope you enjoyed this review. And uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel, guys, and click the bell so you know when I do upload a new video. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day. The power of the dark side, 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 side.